Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Ash. And last time, we had just started to go through the Loom and Pinion Pass so we could get into the Bronzed Mire, where a number of quests, both main and side journeys, await us. It does feel like we're starting to get a little bit closer to the end. So I do have Flokir's Journey active. That is the first one that we should theoretically run into once we get to the mire, but we do have to cross through this section again. We did go through most of it already the last time around, but let's go ahead and start doing that nice and quickly. Don't need to pay attention to the enemies or really too much loot. I should have grabbed at least most of it last time. Now, some things have changed. I did go back to the old... Whoop. Oh, the old uh, armor, because I do pr greatly prefer to this one. I do have a lot of stamina, so I can... Ooh, I could actually almost just completely stun lock him. Do love that overhand. But as far as the weapons go, I did switch back to a one-handed axe, this time the double-sided axe, and then the ash-infused tyrannical maul for my two-handed. Now, this one, I'm not sure if they're all like this, but it has a significantly higher R2 attack than its light attack, which I'm really excited about. So let's just go through as quickly as we can because I did a good job exploring. I'm sure that there's still some loot. In fact, I'm pretty sure last time I said there was loot that I know I missed that I was just going to somewhat skip out on. And I don't even plan on fighting too many of the enemies. I will take on some of them. Ooh. And... That was cool. So that was Orly's Fuse. So remember, we did pick that up last time. And let's see if we can get another one going. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That is pretty fun. A little bit tough to use, and we'll have to try it with the double-sided axe to see if it's also as effective there. Oh, look. I missed an item right here. Well, we might as well get that. No reason not to, right? Nice. Ooh, I like the combo of this mace with the R2 into the R1. No sapien moss. Always. Ooh. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Nice. Got both of them. Actually, does the R2 automatically combo? Oh, never mind. That's not even a combo. That's a single R2. I like that. I do think that is worth switching over here. The damage might be a little bit lower than what I was using previously, but I'm okay with that if it's a better move set. Right, let's go over to our spears so we can quickly... Careful, careful, careful. Go from statue to statue. As much as we can. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, that was a lot of damage that I'm not paying attention to. You're going to be in the way. You're going to let me through? Oh, nope, problem. Problem, problem, problem. Hmm, foolish. Right, I'll be back. Really what I should have been doing this whole time is actually utilizing the statues. So I think that is what we're going to do now. So I'm going to get back to my Scoria, and I'll see you then. Right, so it's a little bit easier to actually kill all the enemies than it was to try and run past them all. And actually, you know what? I realized I was going the wrong way. This is where I want to go. I just need to look for those creepy spider statue thing. Now, actually, is there any way I can... This is going to be a tough one. I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can make that work, though. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Ha-ha! <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Bypass a lot of sections here. Completely fine with that now. I know there's a lot of enemies waiting for me down there unless I can somehow... Oof. I don't know if I can sneak a spear through there. Oh, I see one. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't think it's going to happen, but that would be pretty cool. I mean, I don't even know where that's landing. No. Okay. We're going to have to go and deal with these enemies. Although, you know what I could do? Switch to my cracking spears and see about just taking them out from here. And are you dead yet? No? Alright, well, fine. If you want to dance around, I'll just try and hit both of you. 
That is what I was aiming for right there, is actually hitting them. Little far, little far. That was perfect. Got one of them. Wasting a lot of these spears, though, and I probably should be saving them for something more important. Tell you what, let's just... Let's just hop down there. Oh! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, that was way more damage than I expected. Oh, no. Well, thank you to Floke here for uh, backing me up there, pal. That was a little scary. Watch it. Got you, and Floke here. You're still here. Good. All right, let's deal with this guy. Don't want him catching up. Wow. Yikes, that was a little scary. That was a little scary. Right, switch back from my cracking to my old bone spears. There was a ritual stone somewhere. How close am I? Oh, I've actually passed it. Oh, no. I mean, logic would dictate that I do go back and look for it, but since when have I been known as a logical person? All right, this is all new, though. This is all new, so we have to take our time here. And use that. There it is. Beautiful. That Orly's Fuse. Nice. Deal with you. Why don't we go up just a little bit? I did see at least one Spear Thrower. I do want to deal with him first. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to be in here. That, that was good. And, oh, he got me, but only a little bit. Nothing that a Sapote can help out with. Okay, Spirit Thrower. Let's just charge in, charge in, charge in. And back up. And run. That worked out nicely. All right, I do see some items here. I know that there's the one guy below me. Little bit of exploration here. Oh, heavens, okay. Oh! We are going to get in there with some R1s. Back up, back up. Oh. Ooh, nice dodge. Didn't dodge that one, though. All right, let's use, I don't know, a couple of mushrooms. Do they stack? I think they stack. Oh, but I got one back, so that's good. Is this the way forward? Let's take a look at the map. Yes. So over here is all exploration, so we'll focus on that just, just for a little bit. Maybe find something new, some new weapon, new armor, although I really dig this armor. And it's not even the best. Ooh. Right, where are you hiding? Right there. That works for me. Luckily, I don't think there's... Oh. And... That was nice. That was good. Excellent. Thank you, Flo Cure. More crackling or cracking spears. That's good because I used a lot of those. Rather, oh, rather pointlessly. There we go. And down here, there's still one item yet. More sapient moss. Is this deep water? I don't see anything hiding in the waterfall, so I'm not going to waste my time. So I will go back up, though, and look around, see if there's anywhere for me to throw a spear, maybe any secret areas. Otherwise, we'll just push on forward and hopefully get into the bronze mire here in just another minute. Mm. I'm not sure if that's accessible or not. I actually don't see any statues at the moment, which is a shame. So I do have to... Really, gotta run back. Was not expecting that. I was hoping for a ladder. All right, well, fortunately it wasn't too far. And now I can kind of reassess, see if there's anything hidden. Ooh, Floke here is hurting. I'm hoping that as soon as I get into the Bronze Mire, there's gonna be a Ritual Stone, otherwise could be in a world of hurt. All right, big guy there. I mean, there's an item there, so how do I... Unless there's maybe an assist to climb here? 
Looks like it would be the right place for one. Alright, real quick, let's just scout around. I don't see... Wait a minute. I just saw something prompt. Oh, it just said climb up. Just said climb up. Oh, right here maybe? There it is. Okay. Nothing there. Here's that item I just saw. Sapien root. That's good. I am needing those now for the level of infusion that I'm on. But it appears... Alright, that's it. At least that's all I see currently. Alright, you... Come on. Oh, you're a bit stuck there, huh? That's alright. Do you have a follow-up to that? No, you don't. Uh-oh. And the follow-up. And there's the death. Good. He might actually come back with more health than he had, and indeed he did. Indeed he did. Anything hiding down there? Ah, oh, there is. Alright, fine. Please don't take fall damage. Good. Large scoria. That's worth it. I did find one earlier when I was getting back to my scoria, by the way. So that's 20,000 that I have just in large scoria. Also, I had about 16,000 scoria when I started. And I decided to bank them all in the medium scoria stashes just, just to be safe. Which is probably for the best because I did die pretty quickly. Oh, this is starting to look really cool. Now, is this pinion pass? This officially is pinion pass. Let's look up above, make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't seem like it. Seems pretty straightforward. Which also means it seems really, really good for an ambush. Also looks like you should be able to climb some of these. Okay, definitely can climb over there. In fact, is that a cave? Or is that just a really, really dark wall? Really dark wall it is. Got it. And I do see just one item. Is that all it is? Just one? All right. Hushed remains, and it is a large scory stash. Not too terrible. Uh, if I do say so myself, 30,000 scoria. Almost enough for an ash infused plus three, I believe. Which is 36,000 and one sapient root. All right, getting a little dark, though. Time to bust out the lantern with my one-handed... Although, it sounds rather peaceful. Sounds very peaceful, actually. Oh, down or up, down or up. Up seems safer. Although, maybe either way works? Is that a proposed climb? No. It's a little bit too tall. Alright, maybe that's just some other way of getting back into here if needed. I guess I don't need my lantern. Oh, my goodness if i'm not mistaken this is where the screenshot that i used for my thumbnail is look at that that palace that must be where jokel wants us to go and there's a ritual stone it looks like a traveling one at that beautiful a very very welcome sight excellent good so now let's take a look at the map and see where we're supposed to be headed so the crack path kind of goes up and around Lyra is over to the east. But maybe we want to stick to the path. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I love this landscape, though. What's the easiest way down? Oh, apparently the stairs. So back in Pinion Pass, this is, I'm guessing, just leading right into that room that I couldn't jump up to. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, so just a nice quick way. Oh, quick way back into the pass. More sapient moss. No weapons yet. No. What in the heck is that thing? Well, I can target it. Oh, look at these giant rock turtle boar things. I don't... Are you friendly? Because that would be so cool if you were actually friendly. Are you? I mean, you're looking at me. Well, I'm not going to hurt you if you're friendly. I have no desire. I hope I don't have to kill you for a quest. Because you are just so cool. 
Yeah, I'm definitely leaving you alone for the time being. Okay, let's let's make our way through these ruins. See if we can make our way over towards Lyra. Not a cracking spear, at least. But I don't for a second... I don't for a second believe that you're alone. Ugh. Okay, well... This could be a mistake. More spear throwers up above. Oh, you are starting to take a lot more hits than your earlier counterparts. Staping at roots. Mm. We're going to have to use cover as best we can. Although I don't really have much of an option. Doesn't seem like that's the way forward. Do I have to drop down? Oh, maybe you should move. Maybe you shouldn't just stand there. Let's see if there's a safer way down first. Hey, friend. Oh my goodness, it seems like there is an absolute ton to explore. I'm sure that's absolutely true. Okay. Uh, proposed climb. This looks like an area to explore. I see a small, small hut up there. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't an, an item waiting for me. Yep, sure enough. I could also possibly snipe them from here. Large scoria. Worth it. Certainly worth it. More of those big rock guys. Hmm. Alright, let's... Get the crackling spear out. See if I can't hit them at least a couple times. And... Well, got some damage on you, but now I wonder if you're just going to run out of the way. Uh, the answer is no. No, you're not. I would love to hit you directly. But if not, this is working too. But you're still alive after all those. Oof. May not be worth it. Okay. Maybe it is, though. Maybe it is. This guy should die a little bit faster, I believe. Let's see if two is enough. No? How about three? Okay. Okay. Still not dead. Right. This has to be the last one, right? Even if it's not a direct hit. You've got to be kidding me. What kind of damage am I doing? Well, <laughs> there's the direct hit there. All right. Well, that was a lot. A lot of cracking spears. Oh, I don't want to fight these creatures. I really don't. Let's get the shield out. We don't need our lantern right now. Let's see if that makes it a little easier. It, it seems like there should be something over here to check out, right? Can I actually climb these little ledges? That would be something. No, not quite. But maybe here, actually. What? Come on, jump up there. It's not very big. That's too tall for an assisted climb? I guess it is. What about? No. All right. Where can we hop down relatively safely? That works. <gasps> Don't say a word. Oh, no. Why would you do that? Why would you... Oh, nice hit. <sighs> good kill, good kill. 747 scoria. I don't know if that's the same as normal corbs. So Lear is this way. Is this too deep? What is that noise? That looks like and sounds like a very heavy spear. I do not want to get hit by that. Use this cover and go and go and go and go. Oh, corp, 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 corp. Get out of the water. Our mobility is very, very limited. Float here. Come this way. Come this way. Highland dem demands demands. Oh, look here. You're up there. 
And I'm gonna go for the charge. Not worth it, not worth it. Although that was a lot of damage. Nice, good kill, good kill. I wish I had more speckled mushrooms. Oh, there was that one item right there. I'm not gonna go for all of them in the swamp because just too dangerous to, with that spear throw. I think he must do a lot of damage. Whoa, rambling club. Infused plus one, it seems. That looked really cool. Now it is lower weapons. Of the nasty weapons that come out of the bronze mire, rambling club is possibly the most brutish. Oh, that looks so cool though. I mean, I have to at least look at it, don't I? Oh. Oh, interesting. It's got a poke. Oh. Oh, heavens. Oh, I like that. That is getting upgraded. That is getting upgraded. I am very much okay with that. So this should lead up to, I think, those other spear throwers. I know that Lyra should be right around the corner, but let's... Let's dabble just a moment. Yep, this just kind of leads back around. Another large scoria. Oh, we're going to be doing a lot of upgrading when we make our way back to Vagrant's Rest. Which we will do before the episode is through. I know it took a while to get here, but now that we're here, heavens to Betsy, we're going to be exploring for a while, it seems. Right, let's push on. I see the item up there on the ledge. Looking for ambushes. And she's somewhere in the zone. Oh, actually, there's either... Uh, I don't like the look of the skeleton. Careful. My aunt. Ooh, Orly Fuse with a one-handed. That may be the pick of the litter right there. Mm, time to run. Time to run. Look here. Time to backtrack. Oh, wasn't even paying attention. That is... Uh-oh. I wish I had more stun resistance right there. I'm glad that Flo here actually made his way back. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. I think it's time to use a gourd just to be safe. And Flo here, while you deal with this guy, I'm gonna do my best. And you didn't finish him off, so. Let's get some damage, back up. And finish, got him, right. And you took care of the spear guy as well. You didn't take care of the one behind us, so I did have to backtrack a little bit. Hate to say I blame you, but... All right, so what do we have here? Glowing bone. That can't be good. Cannot be good. A human leg bone partially overtaken by foregone or foregone. He said it both ways, fungus. There's something unsettling, insidious even, about how alive it feels to the touch. Can't truly appreciate your legs until they're gone. Hey, you're missing a leg. Wait, was Lyra your leg? Is that actually what we were just looking for the whole time, your leg? It's quite possible he said that, and I just wasn't paying attention. That does sound a bit like me. Now, I don't see a statue up there that I could go to. Well, let's do just do another minute or two of exploration before we head back to Vagrant's Rest. I know that that guy is right above me, and I don't... Ooh, don't want to get caught by him. But I'm... Wait a minute. Did you just attack the corp? You did. Oh, and Flo here is taking damage. By what? Ooh, that was a quite the poke. And there's a charge. Nice, good stun, good stun. Give me something. What do you got? That worked. Except didn't realize... That there was someone else here now. This is bad. And, okay, at least oh, the corpse has gone. These people mean business, though. Hmm. Oh, wait, they're fighting each other. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to attack you, friend. I really didn't. Corb, what did you have? Speckled mushroom. That's really good, actually. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know who's friend and foe. So you know what? Okay, now, are you angry at me? Because I wouldn't blame you. I might just have to finish you off. That's... Oh, careful. You're not taking the damage I was hoping. Uh-oh, you're facing me. I mean, at this point, I just feel guilty. And finish? Nope. How about now? Oh. Ro oh, that is what Amara was looking for. I think it was Amara, right? I think she was. Let's take a look at our quests. No. Slarin? No. Who was looking for that? Oh, Vorsa. That's right. Vorsa's the one looking for the the cure. Well, we found it. And not the cure necessarily, but the horn. Got this item over here. Let's pick this up. Sapient moss. Maybe time to start getting out of here, though. Part of me wants to loop around to this building and see what's inside. Highland Demens. I have to look that word up. I'm not sure how you say that. Demens, Demons. Sapient root. Okay, I think... I think that would just about do it. We have two quests to turn in, so tell you what, let's go ahead and pop Craven Remnant and head back to Vagrant Rest. Right, first things first, Floke here. Let's see what you have to say. Ah, oh, well, Lyr is clearly sticking to the shadows. She must know we're on to her. Now, there's a curious thing. Is that a leg bone you have there? May I see it? Well, I'll be a tinker's cuss. That's my leg bone. And look, that's some foregone fungus growing on it. My sister's been tinkering with me. Oh dear, I've just had a rather nasty thought. Lyra might be making a foregone flock here. Foregone feed on bits of soul left in bones, and it learns as it eats. The situation gets even nastier when you learn that I once made war machines for Army Ren. And uh, Foregone, with my tinkering now, would soon learn to make contraptions of woe. Lyra has my milk teeth, collected as keepsakes. There's talent aplenty in those little bones. We have to find her. She'll be in the Featherland still, somewhere deep and dark. Right, so his sister Lyra is actually creating a Flokir or a foregone Flokir. But we did get an option to craft a new lantern, so let's... It's only 16,000. 3,000 Ash Lumen, sure. Why not? We have the money, right? There we are. Go ahead and get that equipped. Looks pretty cool as well. But we also had Vorsa. And Vorsa should be over this way. Right, there she is by the spears. Maybe, oh, can we now make cracking spears after this? That's a fine piece of Romar you have there. And look, not a single speck of light blight. If hounds in Romar can grow resistant to the light, perhaps we can too. You are as kind as you are strong, my friend. I'll take the horn to Silurin. But first, there's something I must tell you. Something that troubles me. Silurin has doubts about there being a cure for Bataran. She thinks our work could help others. But Bataran has been sick for too long. Why would his own sister give up hope like that? No, I won't accept it. I've spoken with Amara about it, and she told me of the Mother Scale. Geffen once gave one of her scales to her dying lover, a listener man. It restored him. Amara has traced the scale to a ruin in the bronzed mire. Please, we have to find it. So we still need to find a mother scale. We did get option to crack or to craft, excuse me, cracking spears, which are 3,500 and five spearheads for nine. Ooh, that is getting costly. But we got a couple more talismans. Let's take a look at those before we call it a day here. So we got double swig. Your crimson gourd swig capacity is increased. So an extra two swigs. That's pretty useful. 
and then forger you gain a chance to collect an additional crafting material from defeated enemies also could possibly be good at 25 percent hmm we'll tell you what before we do wrap up i did say i wanted to upgrade that one item and actually you know what i'm probably going to need some more sapient moss and sapient roots as well so let's grab those there's roots there's moss lots and lots of moss and then as we're walking let's pop these might as well get them all. Can't hurt. If I need more, I do still have, I think, 15,000 saved up in the mediums. 78,000 is plenty, though. Plenty. Hmm. I'm just looking at the damage, though. I mean, it's a significant damage decrease. In the right-handed, or in the R1, though. The light attack is 47 damage less, whereas than the heavy attack, it's actually the same. We'll tell you, I, I want to try it. I want to try it, and I think we'll even go up one more. Yep, we'll go up one more, which means I don't have enough for that, but possibly... Okay, you know what? I have those other scoria. Let's go do that. Let's grab the mediums so we can upgrade that to, I think it's plus two state. So we will take those and pop them all. I do also want to keep in mind that I can be upgrading my Crimson Gourd, both the capacity and the effectiveness, and I should be doing that. Can't just focus on damage, but there we go. There's that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And you are now my new weapon anyway that's going to do it for this episode of blue plays action hope you're still enjoying next time we're going to be heading back into the bronze mire a lot of sections to explore a lot of sections to explore in fact i'm not seeing i'm not seeing another landmass. see before i could actually see the outline but it seems that maybe maybe this is it Oh, wait. Nope. There's another section. Whatever that is. Maybe we're going to be heading there. Maybe we have to fly on a dinosaur. But a number of side quests yet. We still have to find Geffen. We have to kill Talaran. We're looking for the Lathyrus Palace. Looks like we have already seen that in the distance. We have to kill Cory. We have to find the Mother Scale. And we still have to find <laughs> Flokir's Milk Teeth. But that is going to wait until next time. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.